Good morning, ESM. I'm Maddie, and today I'm being joined by Mr. Ferris. Yes, you are. <laughs> we got a fun show for you today. Old people versus young people. Wait, who's old? You are. All right, do we have to use that term? Fine, how about Gen Z versus Gen X? That's better, I guess. Okay, we'll <laughs> tell you more about that after news. Yesterday, the Pfizer vaccine was endorsed by FDA advisory panel for children 5 to 11 years in kid-sized doses. The adv advisory panel voted that the benefits in preventing COVID-19 in that age bracket outweigh any potential risk, including a rare heart-related side effect. While children are at a lower risk of severe COVID-19, the panelists decided it's important to give parents the choice to protect their kids, especially if they are at high risk or in areas where precautions aren't being used. The FDA is not bound to the panel's recommendations and is expected to make decisions within days. If the FDA authorizes the kid-sized doses next week, the CDC will have to decide whether to recommend the shots and which children should get them. Last month, SpaceX's first, flight, first private flight, a tube in one of their capsules, came unplugged and allowed urine to spill onto fans beneath the floor. The crew has welded the tube in place, but are, sh are making sure that all toilets and tubes are secure in place before their next takeoff. SpaceX crew are still conducting tests to make sure the urine didn't weaken any of the capsules in any way. The tests should be done by the end of the week. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. President will meet this week on Thursday, October 26th, after school in room... 28th. Oh, 28th. In room B44. If you would like to become a part of the school's club for LGBTQ students and allies, please stop down. We are all welcome. Your eyesight goes when you're young. Definitely. Wait a second. Cheerleading tryouts Monday, November 15th and 16th, 7 to 8.15 in the small gym. Join classroom code uh, CNBNXOY. If not, C, Mrs. Planty, and Kaz. DECA will be holding a meeting on Thursday, October 28th at 3.30 in the large cafeteria. If you've not paid your DECA dues, please bring it to the meeting. Deadline for DECA dues is Friday, October 29th. If you have any questions or cannot attend the meeting, please see Mr. Anzol or, Anzlo. Anzlo or Mr. Musolino in B4. All right, so Halloween on Friday, th there will be a processional through the television studio. Uh, we wait till the buses come in, so we won't start lining up till about 8.40 outside of B25. Uh, Please follow all the Halloween guidelines when you come in, but you'll parade through the studio and we'll figure out some kind of prizes for you. ESM DECA will host Buckets for Bo Bo Bayheim November 9th to the benefit of the Jim and July Julie <laughs> Bayheim Foundation. The event will feature two charity basketball games in the ESM High School Gymnasium. The first game will feature a student versus staff game. The second game will feature the ESM alumni game. Staff and alumni, if you want to participate, please reply to the email that was sent out last week from bucketsforbayheim at gmail.com. Juniors and seniors, if you want to sign up, please see Mr. Anazlone at B4. Space is limited. Please sign up ASAP. That's also very tough because I'm playing in that game, and the oxygen just doesn't reach the lungs the same way as it used to. Oh, of course. To give you guys a description about Gen Z, Google says Generation X, Z is well known for using FaceTime or Snapchat instead of texting or calling, unlike previous generations and the utilization of social media and digital services. Generation Z truly lives and breathes the virtual connection life, and it's extremely common to see them becoming social and produ product influencers. Gen Z are typically born in the late 90s and early 200s. 2000s. 2000s. I know, these, <laughs> the telephone is really small. It's, it's very really small. And Generation X, also called Gen Xers, is defined as people who grew up with minimal adult supervision, <laughs> that is true, and thus learned the value of independence and work-life balance. Now you can find them in a desk job or scrolling through Facebook, cat memes. I don't mm -hmm. even look at cat memes. Oh, okay. Gen X are born between the late 1960s and the early 1980s. All right, next we're going to play a game where we both have five things from Gen Z and Gen X, and we're going to try and guess what they are. But first, weather. And due to heavy rains over the course of several days, the school roof was leaking yesterday. It still has some traces today. Um, 
buckets have been placed in several areas in the hallways. Um, so, you know, maybe our guidance should be make sure you wear your rain jackets inside of school as well as outside. So we're going to send it on over to weather to see if we can expect any more rain today. Yesterday's rain caused a lot of flooding and closed roads. Today should be improved. It will be sunny but with sunny but cold with a high of 59 and a low of 40. Tomorrow it will also be sunny and a little warmer with a high of 61 and a low of 45. Friday there will be some p.m. showers with a high of 58 and a low of 47. Saturday there will be showers with a high of 57 and a low of 47. And finally, Sunday there is a slight chance of a shower with highs in the 50s and I'm Abby with your weather. the game with us we brought Ellie and Mr. McSweeney. All right what is a trapper keeper? It's so funny that we chose you <laughs> from trappers. Okay. The, 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 I'm gonna be honest I have, have no idea. Oh, you mean, it's not a pizza. It's not a okay. pizza. No. Okay a trapper keeper? <laughs> yes. <laughs> One nothing. Do you? Okay. Keeper is, it's, it used to hold your papers and pens and stuff. Yeah, it's like a binder but it's like Cool. No, it was so cool. It's so good. And it's completely super. It's just out. a binder. Right. Next one. No, it's it was no. so much more than a binder. All right. What does that do? I that, even brought a prop. That's a VHX. Yes, I know what it is, but what, what? does that do? That the, little the button? The little yeah. tab right that there. Does it like you press it and then the stuff comes out? <laughs> what? The, 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 the film. To nothing. <laughs> no, that no. that protects it. If you break that off, you can't record over, you know, your favorite recording. And it used to be the same thing on like little cassettes too. Yeah. Who is that? A purple blob. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, it looks but like it's from fluffy. where? Elmo. Do you, do you know where it's from? Is it Sesame Street? Yeah, no. No, it, no. It, no, it's, no, no. That's, that's Grimace from McDonald's. Yeah. McDonald's? McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Three, zero. Where's yeah, where's that where's from? Where's the beat? At Wendy's, we what restaurant? Where we modestly what re you can't, keep play, you can't play the video until she answers. <laughs> where's, Let's see. where's it from? <laughs> Give me White Castle vibes. No. <laughs> is it White Castle? Nope. Nope. Where's the beef? Oh, okay. for four, that's Wendy's. <laughs> oh. And it did look like a Wendy's burger. I don't, I've never had Wendy's. You've never had Wendy's? No. Oh, man. I mean, do we have number five or are we switching over? Oh, thank. Hey, I think they're going to get that one. You literally put the title up. Is it on modem? The no, modem? No, modem. Yeah, but that's okay. You only, I think you only had four, so we're. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they might not, do they have them in? Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, what happens if a snail touches you? You get slime on you? No. No. Is it like the cheese touch from Diamond? <laughs> no. Yeah. no. You got me. No. What's that from? TikTok. Yeah. Okay. Obviously. Okay. 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 Um, what does the word cap mean? Cap? Mm-hmm. Well, it could mean a, a, a bullet. No. No. A hat? Like a, no. Or no. A hat. no. Or to end something. Mm. All right. You got no. it. It means lie. Like, stop the cap. Um, what does stand and cancel mean? That's not the cancel culture, is it? Mm. They're crushing us. They are. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> is it? Yeah, but we like, got one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that a Karen moment? <laughs> I know some Karens. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Oh. What is? What are bones and no bones days? Oh, it's the dog that we're just talking about. Um, he just kind of flops over, <laughs> and, right? Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> no. All right. Yeah. Okay. And then one more. I didn't put a picture because I'd give it away. What is nature's cereal? Nature cereal. A nature cereal? Yeah. All right. Oatmeal? Oh, it's made with coconut water and fruit. Nobody and so does it's that. like cereal. All yeah. right. A lot of people do hey, it. Hey, Ellie, we're running out of time. Go get us some sports. The Atlanta Braves beat the Houston Astros in game one of the World Series, 6 to 2. Adam Duvall led the team with two RBIs. Atlanta Braves starter Charlie Morton's season is over because he, he has a fracture in his right fibula. The U.S. women's national soccer team defeated South Korea yesterday 6-0 in the captain Carly Lloyd's last game after 316 games with the team. Lloyd has had 134 goals throughout her career, 64 assists, and two World Cup victories. The girls varsity soccer team beat JD 3-0 last night. In the first half, a great ball from Ashley Praxel to Jess Griffith for a goal. In the second half, Giselle Michaelham scored from Angelina Polcaro as well as Leah Rem had the last goal from a corner kick from Natalie Peterson. This is Isabel Chavez's 14th straight shutout. 
Jessica Griffith is very excited about the girls' upcoming game. Next game, I'm looking forward to hopefully beating New Hartford and working yeah! hard. And yeah! Let's get those goals, ladies! Homer is thrilled as well and is very impressed with the team thus far. Their fire, their intensity, their ability to connect as teammates on and off the field, and their desire to win, and their skill. Boys Volleyball beat Baldensville, Baldensville last night 3-0. The football team has their consolation game today in Oneida at 4.30. The boys soccer team has their semifinal game against CBA at 5 tonight at Chittenango. And I'm Ellie with your sports. It looks like the old people beat us, which is not fair because they're still living in our generation. Yes, but we don't have time for that. We okay. got to get on with today. Hey, everybody, uh, have a nice.